I would argue that the Glazier family, with the leverage buyout of Manchester United, shouldn't have passed the owner's test. I'd argue that Burnley's new owners shouldn't have passed the uh, owner's test. I'd argue that Man City's owners shouldn't have passed the director or ownership test. Nor should Man City's previous owner, Tax in Sinoatra. Nor should Hicks and Gillette at Liverpool have passed the owner's test. So, really, it's a shambles. Thanks a lot for joining us here on Shaftman TV. We're going to have a look at Gary Hoffman, the chairman of the Premier League. He's set to step down due to the Newcastle United takeover. Uh, there's been a backlash from clubs relating to Newcastle's takeover by a Saudi Arabian-based consortium. A number of clubs complained in October to the Premier League after the, de after the deal was actually cleared. And actually, there's a bit of frustration over how the buyer's test then the owner and director's test were actually passed due to the human rights abuses that emanate from Saudi Arabia. Obviously Amnesty International have since condemned the change of ownership and the 61 year old Garrett Hoffman who's been the Premier League chairman for 18 months he's taken the, the brunt of the blame from clubs over the green light that's been given by the public you know for the takeover to the public investment fund. Although the Premier League, in fairness, did feel like they had no option other than to allow the deal to go through after it was first halted. Some of the clubs were unhappy at being told about it so late that they could not mobilise any attempts to actually stop it. So clubs had already started the process of stopping commercial deals associated with ownership in an effort to reduce the amount of money that Newcastle can spend for fear that it will distort the lead, league. So it's understood that Hoffman is yet to take his final decision, but his departure looks inevitable. He took over as the Premier League chairman um, following Richard Scudamore's department in two, departure in 2018 and then the temporary chair of Claudia Arney. Uh, obviously soon after his appointment, he also received criticism for his knowledge of talks about the failed European Super League and the Newcastle situation has obviously exacerbated that. Uh, you know, his likely departure comes at a delicate time. Clubs are waiting for the findings of MP Tracy Crouch's fan-led review in addition to continuing negotiations of key overseas television rights, the USA being poised to go to a second bid this week so it looks like a lot of stuff's up in the air and the administration side of football looks like it's in a little bit of disarray and he's going to carry the can for it but actually there's a structural issue with the owner's tests and with how you can pass a director and owner's test for the Premier League. I would argue that the Glazier family, with the leverage buyout of Manchester United, shouldn't have passed the owner's test. I'd argue that Burnley's new owners shouldn't have passed the uh, owner's test. I'd argue that Man City's owners shouldn't have passed the director or ownership test. Nor should Man City's previous owner, Tax in Sinoatra. Nor should Hicks and Gillette at Liverpool have passed the owner's test. So, really, it's a shambles and actually they're making a lot of money <laughs> they're making a lot of money and I think that's what it all comes down to so what do you think do you think that the Newcastle takeover is okay and it, and it obviously should have uh, gone ahead without an issue do you think that more investment into football is only going to help football flourish do you think that Gary Hoffman is just carrying the can for some structural issues in the Premier League please comment below thanks for joining me